Hello guys, welcome to MEP Engineering Tutorials. The topic which I'm gonna discuss today is related to the compression load calculation for the pump for this uh, neoprene rubber pads. So as you can see, this is the spreadsheet which I'm gonna use. So I will calculate for the primary chill water pump and same way you can calculate for the condensate water pumps. So before starting the calculation, let's uh, discuss a bit about this vibration rubber pads, like uh, what is the purpose and why we are using this one. So as you can see in the photo, there we have a pump and we have those anti-vibration rubber pads installed in here. So basically, you know, the machines with the several moving parts release significant vibration energy along with the structural noise. So these anti-vibration pads basically isolate those high frequency vibration to decrease instability and the noise. So these rubber pads are made of the high grade rubber and these pads have extreme viscoelastic properties that allow them to absorb and dissipate energy without incurring any damage to the structural integrity. So it is very important to use those uh, vibration uh, anti-vibration rubber pads on those heavy machines so this here I'm explaining for the pumps same way you can use uh, calculations for air handling units fresh air handling units and any kind of heavy machine so so let's start the calculation process for this one so first of all we have to know the pump weight so when you do the calculations and select the primary chill water pump or secondary chill water pump you refer to the manufacturer catalog after selecting the pump and you see the total weight of the pump for example well, what we see from the specs is 3290 lbs and if you want to convert this into kgs you divide by 2.2 so it's like 1495 kgs now the concrete base area on which this pump has to be installed area is 2.11 into 1.116 so it's basically 2.35 square meters and the height of this concrete base is 0.3 meters. Now we have to consider all the fittings and the valves which are coming on the pump side. It could be check valve, ball valve or any kind of valve, strainer everything has to be taken into consideration and we have to uh, sum up all the weight of those fittings and the valves so let's say we have all those fittings and the valves weight is 850 kilograms which is written in here next thing which we have to consider is the pipe weight and pipe weight which we have to consider when it's full of water so let's say the pipe uh, along with the water filled inside its total 600 kilograms so we write this one here now the total weight is the sum of this pump weight the fitting valves what we have inside and the pipe weight full of water so summing up all these will give us 2945 kilograms weight so now let's apply the safety factor which is 20% which we are taking in here to get the total operating weight. So total operating weight you just multiply this 2945 with 20% safety factor so you will get 3534 kilograms total operating weight. Now we get the compression load by dividing the operating weight divided by area. So compression load is equal to operating total weight which we just calculated here and the concrete base area which we said 2.35 square meters and you, if you multiply area with the 1000 you will get in tons so now the compression load which comes here is 1.50 tons per square meters in order to get this compression load into kilonewton per square meters we just multiply this value which we calculated here 1.50 with 9.80 to get the compression load in kilonewton per square meters so compression load which we calculated here for the primary chill water pump is 14.75 kilonewton per square meter so if we go for the standard type of selection let's say the most standard one is 15 kilonewton per square meter so we select this neoprene rubber pads of 15 kilonewton per square meters so basically this is the process for calculating compression load and same way you can calculate the compression load for the condenser pump as well so you have to get the total weight 
concrete base area same way fitting valves whatever is coming on the pump side and then pipe weight full of water total weight and then safety factor again 20 percent and total operating weight multiply this 20 percent with the total weight which we calculated here now the compression load is again calculating with the same formula total operating weight divided by concrete base area and if you multiply with thousand you get tons per square meters and then compression load is 18.18 kN per square meter if you go to the standard type what is the most standard uh, and let's let's say it's 20 kN per square meter so we select 20 kN per square meters so basically this is how you can calculate the compression load for the pumps so i hope you guys learned something from this video for more videos keep watching my channel don't forget to subscribe and comment and one thing if you want if you are interested in buying those spreadsheets and softwares you can get to my channel membership by clicking the join button if it's uh, not available in your country then you contact me via email so i can uh, get back to you on your email so that's it for now thank you bye